Hello everybody and welcome back on another guide on my channel. Today I will be doing this tutorial so you can you will be able to download my graphics pack from the Patreon page. The graphics pack is available for the Dia Free membership. So yeah, if you get this then you, you get access to the files. Here will be the zip folder if you just need to download it and paste it on desktop. But I have it already, so yeah. Also, you will need to buy the the custom shader patch preview version. This one will cost one dollar. This mod is mainly for the rain effects to work in the game, and also you will need to buy pure. This will be the main mod that will uh, work with my post process filter that we are going to install now. So the same goes for the installation here. You have the meta file link and then just press on download. Okay, so after you have my graphics pack, then just open it here. And uh, first of all, you can link your Discord account to, to the Patreon. So you can do that by, by going to your Patreon account like this. Then you go to settings more and connected apps and make sure to go here on discord and make sure to connect your discord account uh, to my to my discord server so all the links will be in the description for that and if done properly then you will get a tire free you will get a tire free role on my server so you will get uh, access to all the files that uh, i post Okay, so now we are going to install the custom shader patch and pure. And for that, you need to buy the game first that is on Steam. I can show you here. So, yeah, make sure to have the, the older set of Corsa. So, this one is from 2013, I think. You need to have the older version. So, this one. And after that, you, you will need also to, to download the content manager. I have a tutorial already made for this one, so I won't be doing it again in this video. Okay, so now we can install, first we need to install the custom shader patch. And you will have the zip folder. Just open content manager. And uh, you will need to drag and drop the zip folder here. Go on the top right corner and then press here on install. Okay, successfully. Now you can go to settings, and some shader patch, about and updates. And in here you will see the version that you have installed, so it's all good now. Now we can install Pure. At the moment, the latest pure version is 2.57, so make sure to have at least 2.51 installed. Just uh, extract it, you can extract it with the windows, then open the folder, and you'll, you will have here four files. Just copy them, and we need to paste them in the root folder from the game. If you don't know where that is, just go to your Steam account. Right click on AC, properties, install files and press on browse. So yeah, now you can paste them here. Okay, so now we can go back to content manager, then go to custom shader patch, uh, settings, custom shader patch, and go all the way down to weather effects. And make sure that you have pure gamma selected for the filter to work. And also make sure to, to have this, this one disabled or else uh, the filter will not work properly. So yeah, now that we have that, for pure controller to work in the game, you will need to select it here for the weather. Just press on pure. Then you, you're all good. 
Okay, so the next thing uh, that we are going to do is uh, to install my custom shader page settings and also the video settings. Uh, yeah, let's go to, for example, for video settings. And in here you will have three presets, low, medium and high. So that depends on what PC specs you are uh, running on. So I would recommend to use the high preset if you got a 3070, 4070 or above. So yeah, the same the same will, uh, goes for the custom shader page settings. You just press on the link. It's a desk, uh, it's a browser shortcut. Then this message will pop up here, and then just press on Open Content Manager like that. And then you will get this one. And just apply and save like that. And you you can see in the bottom right corner here that it's selected, so it's working. Also make sure to to use your proper uh, resolution for that. So in my case, I'm using a 2K monitor, so that's my resolution here. So yeah, make sure it's the same as you are using. And uh, if you're here, make sure to select my post process filter. The same the same thing is for uh, custom shader page settings. So you just uh, press on it, and this one also comes with uh, neck FX settings. So yeah, okay. So now we can install the camera mode. Most of the time I'm using the Dynacam. Open this text folder here. And copy the download link. So yeah, this, uh, this mod is on the overtake.gg site. To, to be able to download mods from this site, you will need to register first and then log in, or you won't be able to, to download them. So yeah, just press on download, save, extract all, and in here you have this extension folder. Let's copy it and paste it in the root folder, as I showed you earlier, like this, replace. And then you can go back to settings, AC, uh, no, go to custom shader page, chase a, chase a camera, and select, select Dynacam here. Then go to AC, chase camera, and you can, you can copy my, my settings here for the, for the FOV settings for the camera. I made some screenshots for that also in the in the pack. I think it's um, yeah, it's here, Dynacam, and I have some screenshots for that, so you can just copy them for first camera and second camera, so you get the same looks as me. Also, if you got SAP map installed, you can you can paste my lights config. Just copy content uh, content folder again to go again to a set of course root folder and then then just paste it here. Press on replace. Okay, so now that uh, you have the post process filter installed, we can also install reshade. It is uh, it is optional to use. You don't need to. You don't have to use it. Also, it uh, takes quite a bit of FPS, so. If you're running on a low end PC, then I will not recommend to use it. But if you want to do so, just go to the graphics pack, reshades, open one from them, doesn't matter which one. Um, paste the link in the browser, press on download. Okay, so open it, then Press on acs.exe, next, choose this one, the second option, next. So here it's important to, first of all, press on uncheck all, and then press on check all. So this will make sure that uh, you, install, you, you, you install all the effects for the reshade. So yeah, and make sure this one is blank, so don't, don't press anything here, then go, just go next.
Okay, so now you can press on finish. And in the graphics pack, there are two reshades, resets that I made. So open it. It's gonna be the light reshade and the reality reshade one. So for example, we can take the light reshade one. We'll have this file here. Just copy it. And you need to paste it in the in the root folder. So yeah, that's it for the graphics. Now you can just go select what car you need, doesn't matter, and the map, and just uh, press and go. And if you join the game, it will uh, show here that is successfully installed. Okay, so now that uh, you are in the game, you just need to go to the top right corner, press on all apps, and in here search for pure. And you'll have here free uh, free files. Your config, your planner and post process filter. Like this. In the pure config, if you get a good uh, good PC, just use the very high preset. For the pure planner, this is basically the weather mode, so where you can change all the all the clouds. All the cloud settings, the time, and the date also, as you can see here. Also, for the rain effects to work, you need to press on one to press here. Select the clouds, then go to data. And here you can enable the rain. Increase the temperature so it, it will be raining instead of uh, snow. So yeah. As you can see. Now it's raining outside. And for the pure post process menu, this is the filter that I made. And in here you, you have uh, you have plenty of options to choose from. For example, tone mapping. The gamma sliders. In the visual tab, you, you will also get a dashcam mode if you like to play with it. Player effects, magic plum, and all that stuff. You can play around with it and see what what you like the best. Also for the reflections, atmosphere, atmosphere, cloud settings, and the last one is exposure tab. So yeah, that, uh, that is for the post-process filter. Now we can uh, now we can go and uh, install the reshade. For that, just press on the home button. Press on continue. Again, continue. And this will be the reshade menu. So yeah, to select my uh, my reshade preset, then just press on on this bar here and search for reality light reshade, for example, and then press select. The same goes for the other one. Just go here, press on select, and then it's gonna work. A more vid I made this one for a more vintage look as you can see in the video. Also you can bind, you can go to settings, you can you can change your overlay key and also the toggles key. For example you can select your shift one and shift two. So you can get like this. And then when you close it, for example you can always press shift one and then just disable the reshade effect. So yeah, that's basically that's, that's basically it for the video. I hope you liked it. If you still have some questions about the mods, just uh, you can join the my Discord server and I will try to help you there. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.